Let's, let's get to some USA basketball. I see who ball is scooping in the comments right now. So we, let's let's get to that. Uh, the USA men's basketball team has failed to even medal in the FIBA World Cup. I know this is not our best team, but I thought Steve Kerr did a shaky job coaching. He acted like Austin Reeves is better than ben, Brendan Ingram, which is crazy to me. Uh, just your overall thoughts on the tournament. Will Steph Curry and Durant and the Dogs return next year? Um, let me let me let me let me say this because there's a couple of things that I want to say in regards to Team USA. Okay, so first and foremost, U.S. don't give a damn about FIBA. I'm sorry. I just got to call a spade a spade. Our top dogs, as as, as you call them, uh, hoop ball or scoop, they don't give a damn about FIBA. They don't want to play all them damn years. They get out of bed for the Olympics, right? That's when you see the big dogs coming to play at the Olympics. So we already know, <coughs> excuse me, that we're, that we're going to be seeing our B and C players you might even see a D player, you know, as sprinkled sprinkled around in, in there as well. We already know that because we just don't we don't care about FIBA. Yeah, it's great if we if we win the, if we if we get the gold in FIBA, but we don't really care about that. They care about the Olympics, so that's one. All right, two. When you're talking about international play, you are dealing with teams for the most part that have been playing together for years. Now you may have some NBA players. Sprinkled around in there. Obviously, we you know we got Luca. We saw Dennis Schroeder with Germany. Uh, you know, half the Canadian team is damn near is, is is a couple you know the younger guys in in the league with uh Dylan Brooks and R.J. Barrett and uh Shea Gilgis Alexander, right? But for the most part, those countries have been playing together, so they already have a chemistry that's been built up. Whereas with the with the NBA players. It's kind of like the the all star team, but you just where well, you just throwing these guys in and in for the most part during FIBA, it's the younger guys, you know. It's not it's not our our grade A players, so that's two, all right. And then three, if you're you know when you look at the group of players, right? This is usually in FIBA you get you get in the next generation of NBA superstars. That's what usually happens, right? But when you're talking about that generation of, you know, from the Anthony Edwards class and, 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 and the Mikael Bridges and, and the Jalen Brunson and those guys, the two best players from, from that group is not playing right now. One of them is John Morant, who can't stay out of trouble. And the other one is Zion Williamson, who can't stay healthy. Those two guys make a huge difference if, you're, if you put them on that, on, on, on that USA team. So we're not even... And again, and you can even throw in Trey Young because Trey Young wasn't out there. He's one of the the leaders of 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 that next generation of players. So I'm not surprised that that the U.S. didn't win the gold. I'm not surprised that they didn't medal, um, because we know what it is and we have to accept it for what it is. Top tier players don't care. And again, the chemistry with the with the teams around the world, and we're not putting out even the best players from this generation. Well, I'll start off by saying this, and shout out to Who Baller Scoop because he had a um, a great post up recently where someone was talking about the, the Team USA and not being able to use the excuse of we don't have our best players. And that is true. We don't get that excuse. Who we sent over is who we sent over. We we knew what was at stake. Most importantly, we were just trying to trying to qualify for the Olympics. That was the, the main objective. Make sure you qualify. Other than that, if you win, that's icing on the cake. If you don't, you're going to receive backlash. We know how it goes. But we don't get to use the excuse. We sent over who we sent over. With that being said, though, I do 1,000% agree with you, Trip. I think too often we forget in these type of tournaments, FIBA and the Olympics, these are teams, other countries, I'm saying, who play together consistently for years. They don't just get together one summer and then say, all right, let's just go run and try to go get a medal. They've been playing together for several years. So it's no different than what you saw with the Denver Nuggets, where it's a team who plays together for years. And then when the moment shines brightest, they show up because they know their offense. They know what they, where their teammates going to be. Team USA and Steve Kerr specifically are in a very tough spot because you bring guys in on a year to year basis and you expect them to buy in. And these are all guys who are used to taking 20 shots on their team. Who baller scoop made the comment about Austin Reeves playing, uh, being better than Brandon Ingram and playing over Brandon Ingram. It's not that he's better than Brandon Ingram, but for what you need for FIBA, Austin Reeves does fit you better because yes. you're not going to let Brandon Ingram ISO and get 20 shots a game. 
You need him to defend and play and 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 rebound. Those really aren't his strong suits. Austin Reeves, who's a guy who's used to being a rotational guy, is going to fill that role better. So what we should really, you know, as, as he mentioned, is what we should focus on is who are we sending for the Olympics? The big dogs will be out there who ball the scoop. I don't know if Durant and Curry will go. I think one of those guys will go. But more importantly, we're going to get Jason Tatum. We're going to get Devin Booker there. We're probably going to get Bam out of Bayou there. We'll probably get Jalen Brown there. So we're going to get some of the big dogs. And what we won't see, we won't see guys like Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis ain't got no business being on the FIBA team. And no disrespect, no disrespect to Bobby Portis, but he got no business being there. I, I'm sorry I had to laugh, but you were absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Bobby Portis is making your 12-man roster for a FIBA, you already know we – we yeah. really, we really scraping the bottom of the barrel for yeah. guys to play, right? Yeah. So we know already that the big dogs will come out. Trey Young will probably be there. Now, as far as Ja and, and Zion, I don't know. Ja, I think, could have made an impact. Zion, I don't know because I don't know if his game and his skill set would have fit FIBA. Again, you got to be able to do multiple things. You got to be able to defend. You got to be able to play team-oriented basketball. And that's where the U.S. struggles sometimes. And even when we look back at the Redeem team, what made them special was how selfless those guys became. Melo was willing to be a spot-up shooter. You know what I'm saying? Braun was willing to be a facilitator. Bosch was willing to just be a rebounder. You know what I'm saying? And, and then Kobe would close out games as the guy. So yeah. You have to be selfless. You look at the team we have now, the fact that Anthony Edwards was our best player should let you know everything you need to know. Anthony Edwards is in his third year in the NBA. He should yeah. not be your best player in international play. And he won't be when we get to the Olympics. So right. Just, he won't be. Be, he's right. not going to. He might as, not even be the team. <laughs> as much as I love Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brunson should not be your starting point guard in international play. Yeah. Like, again, look at the guys we're relying on to win. These are not even guys who are all stars in the NBA. Yeah. And, and so when we say, oh, we lost to Germany, who they got? Well, they got a bunch of guys who ain't all stars either. So the, the playing field is level. But if we send our best guys, we will win. And I expect the big dogs to be there. Yeah, let me let me go to Kyrie Thompson's uh comment because I know this was something that was big in the headlines, and I did want to talk about. Um, did y'all see Noah Lyles' uh comment on Lithuanian win over the USA? Um, I, I so I want to go back to to what basically he was upset about. Um, the NBA champions calling themselves world champions. So that their whole rift started and it's kind of been a little bit of a, of a, of a back and forth now. Um, I get it from the, the, I guess the technical standpoint, because they're not playing international play, you know, during the NBA season. So I get it from the technical standpoint. Yes. No, no allows is right. They're not playing in international shit. They're not playing against every country around the world. Now, they are playing the best players in the world, though. And that and that we know is a fact. The best basketball players in the world are playing in the NBA. Like it, that's it. That it's like it's like if it's like the URL is the top battle rap league in the world. The NBA is the top basketball league in the world. If if, if you're if you're winning championships. In the NBA, nine out of ten times you're gonna win around the world. That's why we've only seen, I want to say, over the past what maybe thirty years, one Team USA loss in the Olympics. I think it was two uh, two thousand and four. I believe it was. The yeah, year before we the Redeem Team, before the Redeem Team. Yeah, it, yeah. A with AI and those guys. Yeah. All right, so if you're looking at it, you know the USA doesn't lose. When we put out when we put our best players on the on the court, we don't lose. And and outside of the loss in 2004, once the United States kind of leveled the playing field because at one point we were sending college players mm -hmm. only to play against professional basketball players from around the world. And yes, the United States was getting their butts kicked because you're talking about young kids playing against these grown men from around around the world who, who again have a certain level of chemistry because they've been playing together for years. And the Olympics is not the same as the NBA game as the college basketball game. 
the, the same thing with FIBA's two different styles of basketball play, right? But when but when we again once we get to once we got to the point where the US said, hold up, if y'all putting y'all pros out there, we're gonna put our pros out there and show you who really got the best players in the world. And no one has really been able to check the USA, with the exception, like I said, with the exception of 2004, when we get to the Olympics, Team USA is running the show. Facts. And when we come back around to, to was it next year, I believe the Olympics is next year, right? We yep. come back around next summer, and when and and when you see the game coming, don't be surprised when teams start getting smoked out of the gym. I mean, listen, no, not, no allows, I get it, right? But th this is one of those comments that's purely based around shock value. Mm -hmm. When And I'm just using the Yankees as an example because we're both from New York. When the Yankees get to play in the championship round, what is it called, Trip? It's called the World Series, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Because Major League Baseball is the number one baseball league in the world, yeah. right? No disrespect to what's going on in China. The best baseball team in China cannot beat the best baseball team in, in, in Major League Baseball. And for those that don't believe me, Look it up in the wintertime. The best baseball teams in America go overseas and play, and they normally beat up on those teams over there, right? Same thing with, with football, same thing with basketball, every other sport. Football's the best, not even close. Right, but okay. what I'm saying is in the, in the four major sports, the best in the world play in the leagues here. Now, to take it a step further, if you want to say, purely based on Noah Lau's comment, that it's not the world champion because you didn't beat the best team overseas, if you took the best team from overseas and put them in a series against the Denver Nuggets, the Denver Nuggets would smoke them. All right? Of course. Let's let's not pretend like for as great as Luka Doncic is, Luka Doncic was a two-time MVP overseas mm -hmm. playing in the best European league. Mm -hmm. Luka Doncic has not been a top three MVP candidate in the NBA. Talk about it. So don't Talk tell me that the best team in Europe, if you took the best team in Europe, and put them against the best NBA team, they could not hang with the best NBA team. And it don't matter where you played it at. In a series, they could not hang. In one game, maybe. In one game, yeah, anybody could win one game. If you played NCAA tournament style, one game, yeah, they can hang. But if you're telling me we're going to take the best European team and they got to play the best American team in the best four out of seven, that European team wouldn't even be a top five team in America. So no. let's cut it out. Not let's cut all. it out. Now, if you want to, if you want to, get on the play on words of, oh, it's not, you shouldn't be the world champion because it's only played in the United States. All right, cool. That's that's fine if you want to say that. But let's not pretend that the best American, the best team in the NBA cannot beat the best European team. They'll beat them all the time. It wouldn't even be competition. Yeah. Let me, hold on, let me say, School Poop got two questions. I'm going to put both of these uh, questions. I'm going to put, I'm going to go with the, with the second one first, though. Uh, what's bigger, the USA gold medal or the NBA title? School, um, you know that answer. You know that answer. I, yeah, I got, I got. Honestly, I got to go with the NBA title because again, you're playing the best players in the world when you're going for that NBA title. Like it is what it is, and that's not to say there's not great European players in the NBA because right. I, I think arguably the best two players in the NBA right now are not from the United States: Giannis Antetokounmpo and Nikolai Jokic. Right, but the competition level here is different. There's a reason why a guy like Stefan Marbury can, at the end of his career in the NBA, go to China and be Michael Jordan and have multiple statues put up because of the right. dominance that he showed while he was playing in China. There's a reason for that. The, the talent level is not is not the same. Remind me again, how many um finals and MVP Steph won in the NBA? None. Oh, okay. Zero. Um, so it, and, it, and, it, and that's and that's Brooklyn. So you know and I, right, and we love Steph. Yeah. But, but let's keep it a buck. It's not the same. Um, this answer, school hoop, you know the, the answer to this question. It's an NBA title. Because if it was if the US gold medal was bigger than the NBA title, we would never look at Carmelo Anthony the way we do. Because Carmelo Anthony is a two-time gold medal winner. Yeah, right. So if that gold medal meant more than an NBA title, we would not be talking about Melo as a guy who, oh, but he never made it to a finals. He never won a chip. The NBA championship is more important than winning a gold medal. Now, winning a gold medal is great for your country, and yes. it's a great moment to have with your country meant. But I bet you even if you ask the Joker, the Joker just played in the FIBA championship today. Mm -hmm. I bet you he'll tell you winning that NBA finals was more important in this game I just played for FIBA. And it's going to be more important than the Olympic game I played too. And, and I will tell you this, if it's it's easy to, to, to get to, to the answer because 
if it was more important, then you would see the top dogs playing in the FIBA tournament. If inter if international play was that big of a deal, we wouldn't be just waiting to to the Olympics for our best players to play, right? All right. It's it's good to be like, yeah, let me just we just gonna put the stamp on it to get the gold medal, but we already know what it is. Right. I mean, Paul Gasol has said as much as well. Paul has raved about the opportunity to play for Spain and play with his countrymen. Yeah. But we look back at his speeches. The first thing he talked about is winning those championships with the Lakers. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's facts. So nah, man. It's that it's, it's definitely the NBA championship. Uh let me go to your second question, Scoop Hoop. And then we're going to get to the WNBA because I see the WNBA comments up there and I've been waiting to talk, talk about the New York Liberty. So uh, Scoop Hoop says, let me ask y'all all before y'all move on it's with the Olympics next year. Give me a 12 man roster. Uh, who would you take to play? I don't believe LeBron's going to play. Well, I would love for LeBron to be on that 12 man roster just to get one more Olympics in before, you know, he calls to quit. I know that's a it's a long shot, but who knows? Maybe Braun might just be like, yeah, whatever. I'll go one more round, you know, with the guys and, and be the elder statesman out there. Um, but Steph Curry, I would love to see him go because I don't. Steph Curry hasn't um hasn't done the Olympics yet, so I would love I would love to see I would love to see Steph, um, Devin Booker. I wouldn't mind Kevin Durant going going back over. Uh, let me see who who else do I do I want to see play? Um, Jason Tatum, of course. Uh, I think he'll be there. Anthony Davis. I, I would love to see Anthony Davis back playing in, in the Olympics. Um, I mean, Dame, of course. I, I want to see Damian, Damian Lillard back out, back out uh, playing for Team USA. Uh, let me see. Who else? Is there, is there anybody else that though I'm like, all right, they got to make the team? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who am I, who am I missing right now? Um, who can we sprinkle? Who can we sprinkle around? We got who's, who's the other who's the other big man that we got? Because it can't just be Anthony Davis ain't the only big man we got left. Right? So the big man joint could get interesting because Embiid is a U.S. citizen. So oh, if Embiid, Embiid is with us, then we taking Embiid. Yeah, Embiid could could technically represent the United States, but if you don't want to go, if, if Embiid decides not to, um, I think AD is a good answer. Uh, Bam Adebayo could be an option as well. Or and Jimmy Butler, I wouldn't mind seeing Jimmy Butler go. Jimmy, yeah, or, or, but um, in terms of big men, I was gonna say I think Evan Mobley. Mm. You, could, you could go. With, you could go with some younger bigs. Fella, okay, okay, like that. I, mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Joel because 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 Hakeem played for for Team USA too. Mm -hmm. So and and that was a big deal for us. So you know, like I would I would love to see Joel and me play for for Team USA. That would yes. be dope. Um, there, there, there's a couple options. I'm going to say, I, I like the guys you mentioned, because I agree. I would like to see AD. I don't know if AD would do it because of his injury history. Yeah. Um, but I would like to see AD. I think from the current team, the two guys that I probably would be the most interested in seeing come back is Halliburton and Edwards. Okay. Um, just because I like both their games and they're young guys. They, they're, those are supposed to be the guys that carry the torch moving forward. Uh, aside from them, I think Tatum, I think Booker, I think Jalen Brown. Um, we said Brown. Oh, Donovan Mitchell. Yes. I think Donovan Mitchell is another guy. Again, when we talk about who are supposed to be the torchbearers now, instead of KD and Braun and mm -hmm. Steph and Dane, Donovan Mitchell is supposed to be that next wave of guys who's supposed to kind of carry the tradition. So yeah. um, those are those are some of the some of the guys I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, I'm trying to think who else if we're missing anybody. Oh, um, and then you never know. I mean, does Chet play for Team USA next year? Chet Holmgren? Yeah. Um, he could fill out a roster spot. Don't we don't don't are they they, they still taking one college player? Not nah, Chet's NBA now. Is it? Oh, no, no, I know that oh, you said. Oh no, nah, no, nah, you don't have no, nah, they're not doing that. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Chet um Chet play. If we if we just taking one of the young guys, um, yeah, Chet, Chet could definitely do it. I mean, I guess we'll see this season too. Who um how how things uh how the season goes too. I wouldn't mind seeing uh Mikel Bridges though back. I wouldn't mind Mikel going back. Um and I and I think I think that he's gonna show this season that he should go back. Like I I think we're gonna see Mikel Bridges um get get to his first All Star game this season and and earn his way back uh to the Team USA roster. That's so that's 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 one. Um but yeah I mean listen I just. I, 
it's the Olympics. So I'm just like, I know we're going to, to you know, what we're going to do out there. We don't, we're not playing around in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Like 2004 was a huge embarrassment to the United States, to the, to the NBA. You know what I'm saying? That was an embarrassment. And ain't nobody going to want us, want to be the team that says, yo, we, uh, we let the goal slip away again. Nobody want to be part of a team like that again, because we know how bad it was in, in, in 2004 when they didn't win. It, it was, it was so bad that we had to go, we had to call it the 08 team, the redeem team. Right. That's, that's how bad it was when the United States doesn't win the, the Olympics. Like it, that's how bad it is for, for us. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to see, see how see us just go back over there and dominate just so we could just, just for the Noah Lyles, you know, people, people like that. Like it's not even fair when you put these players in the Olympics. It's, it just, it just is not fair. These are the best players in the world. They are that for a reason. It, yeah, is, and it is what it is. We also got to keep in mind, too, that we are everyone's Super Bowl. We are everyone's NBA Finals, right? Mm-hmm. When they play us, they're going to give us their best effort. And we need to have guys who understand that type of pressure. Again, no disrespect to the Jalen Brunsons, Brunsons and the Bridges and Edwards and those guys. But those guys are never in those situations in the NBA. So how do we expect them to handle that? an international play when everybody's gunning for you and everybody's trying to drop 30 on your head and, and trying to eliminate you. That's why you need the big dogs. Like Scoop, Hoop said, you, you got to bring the big dogs in who know how to handle that type of pressure. Yeah. I, honestly, it, if, if, if the, if the world doesn't win FIBA, then it's really bad. Then that, then that really tells you like, you with know, this what I'm team we crowded out. Yeah. With this team. Yeah. Yeah, if if, if 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 the USA wins gold and we know we're sending our B and C guys out for FIBA, if you let the US win gold in FIBA, that's that it's gonna get ugly for you in the Olympics. Like it's gonna it's gonna be really bad. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 